Hello, this is another Alpha Strike We Play video. I'm joined by Taryn. Hey buddy, how we doing? Good mate. So, we are in the middle of missiles. Mm. So we talked about LRMs in the previous video, and this one we're talking about their younger cousins, the SRM. They're smaller cousins. Yeah, and their cousin from out of town, the Streak SRMs <laughs> too. And on that... <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Alright, so... SRM, Short Range Missile. All right, they don't come in as bigger bins as the LRMs. We're no. talking two, fours, and sixes. Yeah. But the missiles do two points of damage each, so they're Inch. a little bit more printed. Yes, mm. and you roll for them individually. Yeah. Uh, which puts them well above LRMs in the, the damage slash destruction um, index, I yeah. guess you would say. Yeah, um, it's not a bad weapon. Having a streak six rack or, or an SRM six rack hit with all six missiles and you roll six locations for two damage each, that's just, you, people just go, no, yeah. it's nasty. You can get some alternate ammunition for short range missiles. They yep. don't work for the streaks, they only work for the normal ones. Yeah. We, we'll talk about those in a different video. Yeah. But um, let's put a table up, shall with we? Some and of them are, uh, yeah. yeah. Bing. But some of the, the, um, Missiles that you can get for streaks are uh, SRMs are actually pretty cool. Mm. There's some interesting little choices there. If you can get multiple um, ammo bins, have a have a funk around with them. They all go out to nine, which is your standard sort of medium laser range. Yeah. So we're talking in a sphere at the moment. In a sphere ones. Yep. 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 Uh, no minimum ranges. Two damage per missile, not very much heat building up there, you can see, and some solid amounts of ammo. Uh, the SRM6s, you only get 15 shots, but 15 shots with a straight, with a SRM6, it's yeah, not right. too bad. That's okay. It's not too bad. And 50 with a 2, I mean, I, I kind of like ignore the SRM2s. I see something with an SRM2, I think what else I could take out and put in. Take the SRM2 out and the ammo out and the case out and go, okay, what else can I put in there? Yeah. But I think uh, I think a lot of people look at the SRM2 and then look at the special ammunition that you can buy. Yeah, yeah that's that's the only reason they keep them usually. Yeah, yeah, I think that's probably why they're so, so still so popular. Yeah. But, but keep in mind you can share it's like an auto cannon, you know, so like you can have two or three SRM2s so and then they can all share that one bin yep. of ammo. So that's that's another option. Yeah, yeah. And they're only one ton, one space for an SR2, yeah. and three tons, two spaces for the SR6. Yeah. So, they're actually not a very bulky weapon. No. To, to tell you the truth. The, the, the um, two spaces is a little, a little big, but it's nowhere near as big as some of them get. No, that's right. So, and for, like I say, that six individual location rolls, is well worth it. Yeah. Well worth it. So that's that's actually quite good against vehicles because mm, that's there are some hits. yeah, there yeah. are some locations where you can do additional damage even though you don't go internal. Yep. But if you're going up against battle mechs, then if there's a few locations that are out of ammo and you out of armor and you just want to peg them. Yep. Just two points gives you a roll on that table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. We'll take that. You you do your SR6 or your streak 6 and your LBX and your thing and your hatchet. Yeah. <laughs> and then you start crit seeking with your missiles yeah, that's, that's cool. the way to go and the more dice you're rolling the better off you are the better chance you've got of getting the head hit or the floating critical or a, a, a location that's got no armor left mm. it's it's gold mm. they're really really good so what is a streak SRM Taren? the the beauty of the streak system and it's Almost, almost worth not being able to take the funky ammo with. Mm. Almost there. It's <laughs> um, the beauty of it is that you make the one-two hit roll. If you miss, you don't waste the ammo. If you hit, they all hit. Yeah. So if you don't get a hit, it doesn't fire. There's no heat. You don't lose any ammo. It's all good. If it does hit, then you're rolling for each missile, but all the missiles, whatever size bin you've got, they all make a connection. Yeah. It's really, really cool. So if you, if you fire your streak six, you make your hit, it works. Six missiles, six locations, automatically. You don't have to do a cluster roll, you don't have to muck yeah. around with it. 
It's done. Yeah. So you are paying a bit more tonnage for yeah. that capability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to not have to roll on that table, I think, is kind of worth it. <laughs> I, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And you're saving ammo too. So, you know, Mercs, take that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> if you have to buy your ammo, you are, yeah, you are loving streaks. Uh, so your SR6 is three and two locations, three tons, two locations, and your streak SR6 is four and a half tons, two locations. That's the inner speed. Yeah. So it's a little bit more, you're not losing too many more locations, but it's a ton and a half extra that you have to squeeze out of somewhere. But for that, the ability to say that hit, all of those things get a location rather than having to roll on, a, on another table. It's, it's actually really, really good. Um, like I say, you can't use the weird ammo with it, which is a downside. Um, the Streak 6, I would consider, because it's, it's six automatic locations. Yeah. I mean, as long as you make that one, two hit roll, it's six automatic locations. You, you've got a hit. Yeah. But you can't use the ammo. But having six automatic hits is like, boom, yeah, I'm there. That's good. I mean... The clans, look, they have access to standard SRMs, but they don't really they don't really use them that much. They prefer the street technology yeah. because they've got such, it's lighter and things like that. It's much better. But their range is a little bit longer on their SRMs too, which is... Yeah, they go out good. to 12 up for to the 12. streak system yeah. only, not yeah. the SRM. Not the SRM, so, no. So they, they usually, like I haven't seen... Pretty much any designs that have a standard SRM no. on them, unless they're like some old. There's, there's no like need it. for them to use them. I mean, no, probably some legit. of the 2C ones might have it, but I've never seen no. normal SRMs on a, on, a, on a clan mech. I mean, you guys might know one. Put a comment down. Mm. <laughs> but just <laughs> a clan way of thinking. They just, it, it yeah. just seems to, it's more wasteful. Why, why would you? Why would why, you, why take would you bother? In the street because yeah. it's so much better. You gotta you gotta find the ammo. You gotta produce the ammo, etc., etc. Mm. Um, so you've got the same tonnage and space requirement as a standard SRM for Innisfear. Yeah. So it's three tons, two locations, fifteen rounds, and it goes out two extra he uh, three extra hexes yeah. to twelve. Yeah. With so that's just rude. <laughs> <laughs> and the so clan. Much. They, they technically, I think, have access to some of the funky ammos, but I don't think they use them that much. No. Um, and if you're using a streak all the time, you don't need it. You can't use it. It's funny, a lot of the clans, I don't know, uh, the clans sort of, they'll look at a weapon and go, how much damage can it do? Not, what other little funky things can it do? Yeah. They, they, the warrior is going to look at the weapon and just add up, like, Damage output. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, that's that's the thing. The, so. the, the the damage output versus the heat output, and the the potential for like tipping over or whatever with heavy gauss and stuff like that. Yeah. But they don't go. Hmm. If I put this in it and do that, and this goes well, then that'll go boom. They they just go that much damage for this much heat, that much tonnage. Yeah. I want two of them. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah it is. Oh, it might actually fry your brain if you said, oh, that's okay. I'll, just yeah, take, I'll take a couple just, of Panadol before I go to battle or something. Yeah, yeah. it's like, whatever. <laughs> but but <laughs> SRMs, SRMs are, they, are, they are good. I've used, I've used them a lot when I've sort of mm. designed mechs. I do, I do like them. I tend to favour the SRM 4. Yeah. And I'll get a couple of 4s to share one, one bin of 25 shots. And I'm usually okay with that. Yeah. But if you want a, some hoopy stuff, you might want to consider going up to a six and having a couple of tons, yeah. so 15 shots. It's more damage, more... I, I usually try and keep a couple of tons of ammo. The same with pretty much everything. If, if I'm designing a mech, I try and keep a couple of, couple of tons open for ammo. Yeah. It's, it's just cool. Some of the ammo types are really cool. So it's that um, catapult that you designed, the very first one that hit my mech that you did. That's yep. That has SR in fours or two SR4s with um, one ton of normal ammo and one ton of Inferno ammo. Yeah, yeah. And the Inferno ammo just does heat instead of damage. Which is, yeah. Which is cool. It's quality. Oh dear. Uh, but that's it. That's, that's SRMs. I, I do like them. I do recommend that people look at them and if you can sort of fit them into a design, look at some designs that have them. And, and if you see an SRM carrier, Run. Oh yeah, run. definitely. Yeah. Just run. Or get the first shot in, because it's wafer thin armor. But I'll tell you what, if it, if it decides to shoot at you, yeah, it's a lot of... Actually, you're there for weeks. You're rolling. <laughs> two to six, there's two points. Two, two. 
I, I've been playing Battletech, the Hairbrain Schemes one. Yeah. And I got ambushed by an SRM carrier. Or there's a vehicle that shows up red if you, if you can't see it on the thing. And I went around the corner. I didn't have enough weaponry to bring it down. <laughs> it wasted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was a reload. It's like, no, I'm, t no, dumb. It's something like nine SRM sixes on a turret. It's just—it's rude. It's not cool. You just—you just have to think about that for a second. About like how many actual hits that is. And yeah, they're only two points each. But if you've got a good gunnery crew in there, <laughs> it's some quality damage output you right there. In the clans, you put the streaks on there. You just—that's yeah, <laughs> all—that's all the missiles. You don't have to roll any cluster table. Oh it's God. rude. It's so much damage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but, damn. But SRMs, I think. I SRMs. Think for now, but they are, they are cool. Yep. They are cool. Love them. I like them. All good. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>